I hate anxiety. Tell me about your anxiety and where it came from. Throw a block up. My anxiety comes in the form. It is funny how everyone's anxiety comes in these weird. Mine is um, super high stress levels, cortisol pulsing through my body, but not, I don't recognize it until I crash. I do this really wild thing that I've only learned through my old lady that I'll like be humming along, like I'll be doing this and this and this and go to this thing and have to go to this thing and meet this thing. And, I, and I'll be like, I'll emotionally get uh, so amped up and like rude. I'll start to be rude. Like, Is it, does it feel good when you're in it? No, no, but it's like, I'm keeping up. Do you know what I mean? I feel mm -hmm. like I'm, it feels like I, when you're in a dream and you when you can't punch or you can't run and you're stuck, that's what it feels like when I'm going through like a, like an anxiety moment, not an anxiety attack, but just like a, a heavy, Anxiety. You have chronic anxiety. It seems like you have anxiety. Yeah, all the time. Like you wake up with it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it doesn't. It's crippling. And then finally, after where's I'm, your wheelchair? Huh? If it, it's a cripple, I have a cane. You walk around. He's got my cane. Your anxiety cane. My anxiety uh. cane. <laughs> <laughs> it's it. What happens is I will crash. I'll have. I will literally, physically, go to bed. Like I'll be running, running hot, and I'll sit on the couch. And I'll wake up like three hours later. Really? Yeah, it's the craziest thing. I had to ask a, do ask a doctor about it because I got kind of concerned that I was like, did something bad? Is something wrong? Have you missed things because of it? Like you were supposed to be somewhere and you were just like, I had anxiety. No. And then I fell asleep. No, no that's the problem is because I'm so worried about those. I'll make it those. But the moment that I know I have a minute to like, all right, I don't want to do that thing till later tonight. And I, if I sit on the couch after I'm kind of pacing and panicking and talking out loud how annoyed I am. I will genuinely crash. I'll actually fall asleep. Anxiety. I mean, dude, I didn't realize how anxious I was until I started dating Katie. Cause she Are you like, like a, a foot popper? I'm, I'm kind of like, a, I, sh I shut down and I try to like, like she'll, she gave me the example of when we're out in public. I try to make sure every, that she's okay, everyone's okay. And she's like, hey, enjoy yourself. We're at a ball game. We're at a concert. Like, you don't have to, you can just, go you can just be a part of it but i'd be like hup, 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 and then i can't talk like she can hear my breathing we'll, we'll play video games sometimes and we'll both be on a headset and she'll hear my breathing and she'll be like dude relax because i'll be like hup, hup, hup. And it's like i don't even know i'm being anxious i just like go into this stage where i'm like, like what kind of game like rocket league something ridiculous something where we're literally playing to relax and yeah. i'm getting anxious because i want to do well because it's, again, it's the people pleasing. It's the fucking all this like adding up. I didn't realize that it was making me so anxious. Also, I'm a pothead. So I thought I was like. Cool. Potheads are the most anxious people by and large. I've been, I've been, really, dis planet. I've been really discovering that in the last like two months. And I remember years ago, I dated this girl and she was like, you know, you act like a pothead. Like you're all. She's like, I've never seen someone that flips out as much as you do. And you're like yeah i do i'm and then katie one time was like well because you couch it as like you're fucking harsh in my mellow man yeah. it's like no i'm not <laughs> yeah, your you're constantly on edge <laughs> yeah, yeah. you're constantly shaking a yeah. little bit even after you've smoked weed yeah it, and now even more so yeah because it, it went it went sideways there, but I had never had, she was the first person in my life that put the word anxiety on it, where she was like, you know how anxious you are? And I was like, babe, I'm a <laughs> chill ass stoner. And she's like, no, you're a fucking wreck. And then I started being like, I am. And then she noticed it. And now what are you going to do? You can't smoke. It, weed ain't going to help. Well, now it's even better just like learning how to relax naturally and be yeah. like, you know, I meditate now. There's yep. just like a lot of stuff that I do where I'm like, Pussy, oh, that pussy. yeah, I'm a okay. big old puss, a big old do my breaths in the morning kind of puss. But I didn't notice it with my stand up until she noticed it. I did. Shane Gillis was uh, did like five sold out shows at Caroline's, and he was like, "Dude, do you guess it? Like it'd be awesome. Just come in and drop in." And I'd be like, "I'd fucking love to. This saw, you know, it's, it's cool. It's my friend's show. It's all sold out. No stakes for me. I'm just yeah. a surprise guest." And I went up there and I was fucking around and just having a great time, legitimately having fun. And then I went into my bits and I was doing it like this. And I, but in my head, I'm like, oh, it's time to do the bits. Now yeah. I got to really, now I'm going to kill, you know, now I'm going to go into it. And the jokes weren't as working as well as I was when I was like 
making fun of people and just fucking around. And I got off stage and Katie was like, why'd you get so anxious? And I was like, what do you mean? I did my bits. And she was like, dude, you were killing. And then you went into like, hopped up. Did you ever go to here? I went to here and then I did this. And I was like, oh, that was pure anxiety. Pure anxiety of like, I have to do well. Because in my head, I'm like, Shane's fans are like, this guy sucks. Yeah. And I'm like, no, but I was, I, you know. And so it's that anxiety of like, I'm, I'm, like robotic almost. And so now I'm aware of that every time I'm on stage. I'm like, hey, dude, this isn't a big deal. This is fun. Yeah. Like, relax. Chill out. You don't have to do well. Yeah. You, you can do okay. And if you have fun, watching comedians that have fun on stage made me realize how much I'm not having fun on stage. Like Chappelle, you watch Chappelle on stage and you're like, oh, man. Never seen him. Yeah. <laughs> but he, just the way he flows, yeah. the way he's like, oh, this is all so much fun. I see that with like Sean Patton. I see that with uh, Ali Sadiq. Like Ali Sadiq, I just watch him and I'm like, this is such a guy that's just in it. He's just present, he's in it, and he's having fun. Same with Shane. Yeah. And I watch him and I'm like, Nate, I'm like, damn, you guys are all just having a blast. And I'm up there like this. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'm just like, yeah, fucking get out of me. Well, it's hard if you have to. I not like have memorization issues, but like I want to remember my bits are good. Yeah, and I like doing them. Yeah, and I, I like when they work. I, and I can do crowd work that's funny, and it's I just don't see it as more valuable than my bits. But I know what you mean. But I always used to watch Patrice and Big J. And they do this thing where it's all one thing. Like I'll watch yeah. Big J and he'll like talk to somebody, but then he goes into like a long bit and you're like, that was so fucking cool. That was so cool to watch because I kind of knew what was the pre-planned stuff. Yeah. But how you got there were organic. It just looked so smooth. Yeah. And I love that. And I realized that I was like, are you guys having a good night? Good. <laughs> Dating is very difficult with apps. And you're like, what the yeah. fuck, dude? Just yeah. relax. Yeah. But that was... That's all tied to the anxiety. One of my blocks is anxiety. I, <laughs> I, I'm so scared all the time of the worst possible thing happening. And it's like, I have a joke about it in my hour right now of like, the worst thing that happens is usually the thing you didn't think of. And that's why you can never really let your guard down ever because your right. brain goes, well, if you worry about it, it won't happen. And you go, that's stupid, shut up. But then the stuff you didn't worry about is what happens. And you go, see, I knew it. Like I say on San Diego, I think COVID was my fault. That's like fun. that was the one yeah. thing. Like, did anyone else feel like that when everything shut down? Like, I knew I forgot something. Yeah. I knew it. I just yeah. didn't. In the stove. Yeah. It came from your stove. Yes. Everything locked down the week after my first special came out. Yeah. And I was like, wow, I was worried about everything else but this. Yeah. Happening. Nothing is ever as bad as you think it's going to be. Even bad stuff. But I would say, mom dying, as bad as you could have imagined. Never occurred to me. Right. <laughs> Never right. occurred to me So once. there's no... I believed in Jesus. Jesus was going to take care of me. Yeah. And, you know. I think that there's a hierarchy of anxiety. So you were, at some point, you're probably worried about succeeding. You succeeded. And you think, well, then my anxiety is going to be reduced 30%. No, 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 no. Full full amount of anxiety now it's just proportioned in different ways mm, it's mm -hmm. just a point like no i'm gonna give 10 percent of that success anxiety to my agent there you go um <laughs> like or i'm gonna worry about my relationship with some or like whatever yeah. parking fucking some being a black mold that's a great one for right. women um <laughs> it's number one number one for women black mold aging murder yeah. black mold yes yeah, yeah. Let's go with the first block, right? Mm -hmm. You ready? High anxiety stress. Yeah. I've known you for 15 years. You seem not I, uptight. Not, you like things a certain way. So tell me about high anxiety and stress. My problem is I'm constantly thinking. I'm never in the moment. I've been trying to do uh, meditation over the last five years to kind of calm my mind down. But especially with kids, I'm always thinking if they could get hurt doing that, or I'm thinking six months, 18 months ahead, career-wise, never really enjoying being present. 
Right. So the anxiety comes from, it's like a lot of worry for me. Yeah. So that's what the anxiety is. It's not like I'm stressed out. It's more that I wish I could stop thinking so much and just being. Well, that's knowing what I know about from your act and a, the little bit I know about your life. You, you are, how old's your dad? 76. And your mom's around 76, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, they didn't enjoy anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like you're, it's that joke you do about your dad. Like, I've been depressed since I was 12. Yeah. Like, yeah. Or whatever. Like, that wasn't a thing that they had. Like, as a, as a way to be, my parents didn't enjoy anything. Enjoy it. What are you talking about? I mean, you know what I mean? So, like, you then have, by all accounts, how, things could not be going better for you. Yes, uh, they're going really well, but hold on. There is a better. I hear a better. <laughs> it, it, with all that's going on, see, I enjoyed the kind of ride to where I'm at right now more than where I'm at right now because oh, I interesting. feel a lot of pressure. Because when you go to a comedy club and no one knows who you are, yeah. the expectations aren't high. Yeah. You're just going, you're doing your comedy. You know, I was surprised that I started to sell out. I go, wow, we sold out. And now it's a little bit more of a pressure to get the people to come and to sustain that. And I put a lot of pressure on myself to try and do that. And uh, I am now just taking some time off. Um, Are you really? Yeah. The, the anxiety, stress, is it from expectations you put on yourself? Yeah, it's not from childhood. It's not. It's not and, but my my mother is a little. Uh, she's a worry wart. Kind of grew up. And I, I I take after my mother that way. Yeah. But the anxiety came more from. Here, here. In a nutshell, it's like you, you you're successful. You make money, right? I've never been in this position before in my entire life. Yeah. As far as, you know, when I was making. $70,000 a year at the Four Seasons Hotel as a waiter. I knew every year I generally will make around that amount of money. I had my rent. I had, oh, I could go to a dinner that was maybe expensive, but I could only do that once in a while. Mm -hmm. All right. By the way, heard nothing but good things about you as a waiter. Well, I mean, that's, uh, I got to. I could go. To, I could go back to waiting tables right now. And yeah, pick no, up I, I, left off. I believe it. Uh, if you got any shifts that you need picked up, uh, the Greater LA. I mean, a certain level. We need a certain level of establishment. Um, so now I'm dealing with money that I really never dealt with before, and it's like sometimes you don't know. And I'm very conservative with it, yeah. just because I don't know how tomorrow yeah, we don't could know be my last this could show, be the last right? one and then what i got's gonna last 30 years yeah so that's kind of the challenge for me right now is to not pine so much over money and where it's spent and and it's not like i'm tight it's just like what's enough well you know like what's What's enough to spend or say what am i saving for the fuck am i saving for <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like, <laughs> no, I, 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 I could die tomorrow. Or, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, those are the things that you have buckets no, for. No, I'm with you, saving. though. Like, what am, what, what am I doing? Why am I, what, why am I doing this? Yeah, some people save for, like, oh, they're going to pass it on Retirement, to charity or, yeah. or their kids or whatnot. I, I just, I, I got to figure out what the hell my goal is in regards to socking money away. Yeah. I, I guess for me right now, it's more of a safety blanket than anything else yeah didn't you think that once you got to a certain level you would relax no I'm, I'm getting to this level now of like just thinking about it because i was working so much i just put my head down when the pandemic hit i was like all right you know i had just bought a house i'm like uh, i got two and plus kids too it's another thing and there's another block on there which relates to kids but once you have a family a wife and two kids you know, it's just ain't me anymore. You know, yeah. I, people are relying on me. So that puts another level of stress on top of, of what 
what's going on. And how, what about overthinking? Have you done anything to help yourself with that? So I, uh, I'm in therapy, and I, which right. I've, I've never really considered. I mean, not that I've never considered it, but, I, you know, again, growing up where I grew up, therapy was, no, no one no. I knew went no, to therapy. And, Nor should they have. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's nice just to have, and, and it's, it's a half hour a week on the phone. Not, you only are doing a half hour? half hour. I've never heard of anyone doing a half hour. <laughs> half hour. Do you find it helpful? It's nice. Uh, it's nice for me. It's it's nice. It, and, and this is the type of therapy, not necessarily that we're dissecting a lot of things. It's just more like me talking some of my what's going on in my life out, getting it out in the open, yeah. just talking about it, throwing it up to someone who doesn't really have a stake in the game. Yeah. And uh uh, regardless of what the therapist says to me, I just find it therapeutic to throw up. Of course. <laughs> hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it, though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe, and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high-pressure system coming in. I'm not really used to the green screen.